Good morning saints and friends. Welcome to Sunday morning worship at One Lord Memorial Church in the city of Pomona, California. Our pastor, H. Lee English Sr., and the OLMC family truly thank you for joining us for our 11 a.m. worship service. We pray that you have enjoyed our brief time of instrumental praise and worship this morning. Get your Bibles, and get ready to be blessed by the word that Pastor Lee has for us today. Don't forget to like this video, share this webcast, and even start your own watch party, so that others in your circle of influence can also be blessed. In addition, please take a moment to let us know that you are watching, and also send a few words of encouragement to Pastor Lee, in the comments section below. If you, or a family member, or a friend, have a special need or a prayer request, please don't hesitate to call the church office at 909-622-6759, and let us know so that we can provide assistance or begin interceding with prayer on your behalf. Thank you again for joining us this morning, and please know that we sincerely appreciate your support and pray for you and your family daily. And now without further ado, let's welcome our shepherd, Pastor H. Lee English Sr. Good morning. Welcome to One Lord Moral Church. Morning service, 11 o'clock. Glad you could join us this morning. And we're going to be coming from the book of Galatians, the first chapter, the 10th verse. Galatians, the first chapter, the 10th verse. My title today is A Workman Slash, The One True Gospel. A Workman, The One True Gospel. Galatians 1.10 Go there and uh, put a marker there. And if you would, go to the book of Romans. And go to the uh, chapter 8. And we're going to look at verse 35 through 39. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 through 39. And our text is coming from the book of Galatians, the first chapter, the 10th verse. Somebody pray with me. Father, we want to just thank you how you've brought us all these months uh, in the midst of everything that's been going on, the pandemic, the, uh, the unemployment, the, uh, the loss of lives, the loss of jobs, the loss of some people, uh, savings. And Father, it's just been a tough six months. It has been a tough six months. And I'm not just talking about in the physical. I'm talking about in the mental. In the mental, we've had some terrible things. And the church has not been left uh, not unaffected. We, uh, we've been dealing with some things in the church. Uh, a lot of people who were, who were doing things uh, uh, got out of going to church and since they weren't going to church, decided that, that they didn't need to pay their tithes or offering. And I heard a man at a minister meeting I went to, oh, probably seven, eight months ago. He said it, he believed it was the, the world trying to do away with the small churches. Because in large churches, uh, they'll send you letters and say, uh, you know, you didn't uh, pay your tithes. And, and people being embarrassed, they'll go and pay their tithes. But in small churches, they... Uh, if they're not present, they think the electricity, the rent, and all the other things that make a church work goes on. But uh, they know in their, own, in their heart that that's not true because they know the bills come every month at their house. And so that is not going to work with God because God says those people who are, who are robbers and thieves, there are no robbers and thieves in heaven. And he said he will curse them with a curse. So, Father, I ask that you have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let some people humble themselves and do back the things that they do. But with this pandemic and all the things that are going on, I read an article, uh, I don't know if it was this morning or Friday, that said there's a 55% increase in mental health, in mental illness, 55% increase. And I thought on that, Father, and I said, you know, we need to, Look, about, look at that. 
see if there's a spiritual way we can get out of this thing, Lord. And we just ask you to continue with us. That's why it says that uh, that workman, the one true gospel, that workman, Lord, we just thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. In the book of Galatians, the first chapter, the 10th verse, it says, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. For do I now please men or God? Well, let's go to the end. We cannot, we cannot persuade God because God is truth and the truth does not change. And God is the beginning and the end and he knows everything before it happens. So we will never be able to persuade God. But my job is to persuade men. That is my job, to persuade men. And all persuade mean is really faith. There's a change. There's a, there's a physical change and a spiritual change. I, when, when, when Paul was uh, ministering to King Agap, Agrippa, he, King Agrippa said after Paul had got through dealing with him, he said, I was almost persuaded to become a Christian. He, 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 he almost had a change. He almost had a change. He almost had a change. And as I was studying, I was looking at that 55 percent increase in mental illness. And I said, what could be the cause of this or what could be some of the causes of this? And the first thing came across my mind is what we've been dealing with the last six months, this pandemic, this coronavirus, this loss of job, uh, the death of some of our loved ones, uh, 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 the unstable, how it's so unstable it is, and job loss, and 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 and, and, and ret not retirement, but uh, our savings accounts being dwindled away, and fear has come upon us. Fear has come upon us, and I was saying, Lord, what can we do? But then I heard something say, Help is already here. Help is already here. Help is already here. See, God has never said he will never leave us or forsake us. So he is always, there is always a, a yield sign or a stop sign, a slow down. You know, and, 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 and I got to looking at that. And the book of Romans came to me. Turn your Bibles to Romans, the eighth chapter, the 35th verse. And look what it says. Romans, the eighth chapter, the 35th verse, it says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? God don't ask questions. It's, it, when, when, when God says something like that, he's actually saying nobody can. Nobody can. Nobody can. But look what he goes on because, see, the, uh, I'm, in the, I'm in this physical body. Uh, I, I'm a spiritual man, but I'm in a physical body, and I have all the problems that the world has. But what the world do not have and I have, is I got the triune God. I got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And when Jesus left, he said, I will not leave you without a comforter. And he left us the Holy Ghost. But in it, uh, that Roman, it said, who shall separate us from the love of God? It said, shall tribulation? Shall, 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 shall tribulation or stress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or the sword? Now, you have to break these things down and look at them individually. You just can't run across some things. So tribulation means misery, trouble, affliction. Distress means severe trouble, mental pain, fatigue, or want. Naked means that I'm destitute of spiritual clothing. You know, the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God so that you might be able to withstand the devil. See, that you might be able to withstand the devil because, see, all of us have a breaking point. My pastor told me a long time ago, it's nothing wrong with getting knocked down, Brother English. It's something wrong with wallowing. Get up as quick as you can. Get up as quick as you can and dust yourself off. He says, uh, or pearl. Now, that, that word pearl means that we're exposed to danger. 
Now, I can't see the pandemic, but I can see 200,000 people who have died from it. So I know it's there. I know it's there. And I know that 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 that, that the doctors and the, and the people say and see, God is with the with the scientists when they say that 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 the wear the mask and do this and do that. God said we God cannot help us until we've done all we can. I ain't wearing no mask. And, and, and Jesus said Jesus said when he was tempted, he said, do not tempt God. Do not tempt God. Put the mask on. Oh, I, 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 I got a, a, some kind of thing. I can't wear a mask. Well, well, we'll make one just for you. Well, then what will you be, your excuse be? What will your excuse be? It, say, it says uh, pearl. And then it, it goes on. It says uh, 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 creature. Now, 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 what does that word creature mean? It means anything that's created. God has set this thing up that nothing, he said, no weapon formed. Can, 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 can defend against me. Nothing can stop me when God's on my side. God has not lost a battle. He has not lost a battle. Or it says, thing, create means things created. And then it says principalities. You know, Jesus is the principality because he's the first. So he's the highest you go. But in our structure, in our world structure, we got principalities and they're devils. They're devil. Each one of these words represent a, a fallen angel. See, they're, they're ranked. See, angels are ranked. See, that's the way God is. God is an orderly God. He's an orderly God. He says, and then it goes on and says, things present. See, what are we dealing with right now? We can't see it, but we know it's a killer. We can't see it, but we know it's a killer. And we know that, that, that somehow it can go from one person to the next. And they come up with some things. They, 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 they may not work, but they've worked at my house. They worked at my house. And see, and the, and the people that I've talked to who are doing likewise is working at their house. So it says things present means things that are at hand. Well, we, we, my wife, every time she goes out shopping, she gets some wipes, she gets some masks, she gets some gloves. We got a whole bunch. We got a whole, we got a whole bunch. It says... Uh, Distress, severe trouble, and mental pain, fatigue, and want. See, the devil comes at you when you're at your weakest point. The devil don't care if you have a mental illness or a physical illness. When you're at your lowest point, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And what we have to get in our arsenal, that's why it says study to show yourself approved. Study to show yourself approved because you're going to need some ammunition. I got a I, uh, I got a revelation one day years ago and God told me to have all the members of one Lord. Be able to 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 recite, to memorize this one verse. Second Chronicles 714. It said, if my people, which are called by my name, called my Christians, will humble themselves and pray. Do you know we got a problem with humbling ourselves? Well, there was a man in our church and his wife came to me and told me that he refused to get on his knees and pray. And I said, oh, I said, that's, I said, I said, that's not a problem. He can stand up and pray. He can lay down and pray. But the fact that he refused made it a problem. He would not humble himself. He didn't say I had bad knees. I got a bad back. I can't get down there. Like, no, he just said he didn't see a reason for it. He didn't see a reason to humble himself before God. See, that made it a problem. That made it a problem. See, when we say in our spirit, I'm not going to do something, that makes it a problem. That makes it a problem. See, God told us we're supposed to honor people who are in authority. See, if you won't honor people in the physical, you won't honor people in the spirit either. So you say, well, well they're, they're, they, they're not God. No, they're not. No, they're not. But everybody in a position, God put them there and God can take them out. God don't need our help. He can take them out. He can take them out. He says, uh, he says. For do I now persuade men or God or do I please men? Let's see. We have a lot of people in positions and what they do is they want to be loved by everybody. See, God says that, you know. 
the world going to hate us. The world is not going to love you. So if you're going around trying to please man, you're in trouble because man will change. Man will be just like, it's just like just, gee, when Jesus was up on the mountaintop looking down on Jerusalem, the Bible said he wept. Now, what did he see down there that made him weep? Well, one of the things he saw is Hosanna, Hosanna. And out of that same mouth. The Bible said you shouldn't have hot and cold water coming out the same mouth. You can't be praising God uh, uh, one day and cussing out your neighbor the next day. It should, not, it should not come out. But out of the same mouth, Hosanna, Hosanna, crucify him. We want, we want Bar 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 Barabbas. We want Barabbas. Barabbas, so something similar to that. We want, they, want, they wanted a murderer. Free him that we have to lock our doors up at night, but crucify the man who, who fed 5,000. Crucify the man who, 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 who made the, the, the blind man see. Crucify the man who, who healed the woman with the issue of blood. Crucify the one who told the 10 lepers, go, 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 to, go and show yourself to the priest. But they want him crucified. They want him crucified. He says, uh, or do I, or do I, if I, if I, if I, if I yet please man, I should not be a, 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 a servant of God. I should not be a disciple and trying to please the world. The, Jesus said the world hated him. And guess what? Church, they hate you. They hate you. They hate you. And I was and uh, I was uh, sharing a couple of stories with you. When I first got ordained got ordained on a Sunday, and that Monday I went to work, and I was leaving work, and I saw this chaplain, Chaplain Jackson, and I said, hey, Chaplain Jackson. He said, yeah, boy. I said, I was ordained Sunday, and he didn't say nothing. He got in his car. He drove around the parking lot, and he came by me. He let the window down. He said, study to show yourself approved. He let the window back up and drove off. I thought he was going to get out and give me a hug and and telling me what a, what a great thing it was. He said, study to show yourself approved. And that is going to come out. That's going to help us. That's going to help us because in this walk, you're going to have to have some word. You're going to have to have some word because right now, the devil is raising havoc. 55% increase in mental illness. The devil, and, 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 and it's, it's not something that's not seen. He's dealing with something you can see. I went to work. In March and April, I was unemployed. Been working 20 or 30 years, and I'm not at an age where uh, I can go and work at a factory and lift 50 pounds. I've been working all my life at a desk job, working with a computer, the, and, and, and I'm no longer of any use. Now, that's a, that's a tough pill for a man with a wife and family. Even if, even if he's single, that's a tough pill. Because all the things, and that's, an, and, 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 and that's another thing. I didn't mention that, but I just use my family. You know, we're used to getting together, going to lunch, going to dinner, going to different areas, meeting, meet at different places. Uh, the grandkids coming over, spending, spending the weekend or spending days or spending nights. Can't do that now. Can't do that now. Can't do that now. Because somebody look as healthy as can be can kill me, can kill me. Because I'm, I'm, at, that, I'm at that age where they say, uh, you, you, better, you better stay in the house. They say, oh, you got diabetes? Yeah, you really better stay in the house. Oh, you got high blood pressure? Yeah, you really better stay in the house. See, so somebody could come and, 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 and look just as healthy as can be and carrying a, a time bomb, carrying a time bomb. It says, study to show yourself approved. It says, uh, it, says, uh, it says, study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, that word of truth is very important in this time. It's very important in this time. You know, when I, when, 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 when I, when I first started out preaching, I, I used to tell the pastor, I used to tell pastor, I said, pastor, I love to hear a preacher that put a spin on the word. He says, is that right? 
He said, well, why is that, Brother Ingram? I said, because I know they know what the, the word actually says, and they're doing differently. Because even when I was a little kid and we used to spin these tops, well, when that top is standing straight up, that's the word in its purest form. But even that top, after it's spent, spent a while, it started leaning to either, either side. That is, that is not the true gospel. That is not what we should be telling people. It's not what you put the spin on a thing. We should tell them just like it is. Just to say rightly dividing the word. Don't change nothing. Just tell them like it is. Because some pill is a bitter pill. Some pills are bitter pills. We can't, see, we can't tell people oh, it, it, it's okay. That's the way you was born. It's, it, it's, oh, it's, it's okay. That's all you saw when you was growing up and your daddy beating your mom. So it, it, no, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. We should not be mimicking the world. We should be different. Like, like mother, one of the mothers of the church used to say because people was, was, uh, was bothering this lady who, who was coming to church and her dresses were shorter than their dresses. And so they was, make, made her feel, was making her feel bad. And so the mother got up one day and says, just as much hell on that long dress as he has a short dress. And I agree with that. I agree with that. Then the Holy Ghost told me this. That's true what the mother said. But the lady in the long dress know where she's at. Okay? See, a short dress is fine for, for, for some places, but not the church. Not the church. Not the church. See? See? See, so we always have to watch what we're saying and be able to tell people, but in the right way. My mother said this, if you, if you don't like the way somebody dressed, take them shopping. And if you ain't able to take them shopping, shut up. I think that's some good, I think that's, I think that's some good advice. I think that's, some, I think that's a good, some good advice. For do I now persuade men or God? See, my job is to make somebody change direction. My job is to take somebody in the world and make them change direction. See, when you're persuaded, there should be some action following. See, I, so I'm persuaded and there's no action. I'm just saying words. I'm just trying to get rid of somebody because I'm not changing who I am. That should be a change. That's, that should be a change. It's just like, it's just like I told people that, 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 that being born again is in three phases. See, when you first accept Christ, that's you born again. But then as you walk this thing, it's a, it's a, it's a work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See, that's, that, 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 that's, 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 a, that's, that's another a part of being saved. And then that last part is when Jesus step out on that cloud and take the church. See, now you are saved. See, as long as I'm in the world, I'm not, I'm saved, but I'm not completely saved. It's just like it's just like I'm a caterpillar and I'm going to change into a butterfly. See, but there's a period that that I got to the, the caterpillar is eating up all he can to store up energy. And I'm supposed to be say, telling people what God said. I'm supposed to be out there spreading the good news. I'm supposed to be out there spreading the good news, letting people know, even in this pandemic, even in this pandemic, God says, who shall? That, nobody can. He said he said he said, nay, in verse 37, 8. 837 Rome. He said, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Talking about Jesus. Jesus says, I've already overcome the world. He said, but you got, see, see, I cannot get out of this world until I go this path. See, I have a, I have a, a road to hold. I have a, I have a, I have a job to do. And see, I have to complete mine. See, he said, Paul said, I, he said, I've done a, he said, what did he say? See, he's Paul said, I've done a, a, a good work. I've complete my course. See, we got see, we just can't come in here and say, OK, well, I'm saved. Let's go. So if, if that's all it was, then then we'd be some short lives because that's all it was. We just we, we got saved. We out. See, we out. We, you, 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 you've done what you're supposed to No, No, this thing is to be shared. This thing is to be shared. Because, we, see, there's crowns involved. I want a crown. I want a crown. I want to do all that I can and then give up the ghost. Not early. All that I can and then give up the ghost. He says, he says, for I'm persuaded. That what he said? See, and you got to be persuaded. Whatever's going on around you, remember this. God got you. 
Remember, God got you. And see, anything that come your way, it has gone through my thought past. You say it's gone through God's hands and God said you can handle it. It's for your betterment that he allowed this to happen to you. It is for your betterment. You see, you see, see that 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 caterpillar does doesn't know that he has to go into this cocoon. To go through this change, become a butterfly. See, we see, 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 I want to I want all the things that I can have on this side. And then I want to go to heaven. See, I want all that I can have on this side and then I want to go to heaven. And God said, that's a that's a good plan, brother. Angus. But he said, there's pain in this mountain. There is pain in this mountain. And 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 when I bless you. Everybody around you get blessed. OK, when the pandemic comes, I can't say, OK, the church won't be touched. That's not fair. That's not love. See, that's what you say. No, 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 no. That's favoritism. God said he has no favorites. Everybody is going through except those of us who are born again. I got the Holy Ghost. I got Jesus and I got God. And if we allow either one of them to come and abide with us, all three come. All three come. So we can't lose. We can't lose. So, yes, I'm going to go through this thing. I'm going to have tribulations. I'm going to have distress. I'm going to have nakedness. I'm going to have pearl. I'm going to have creatures coming at me. I'm going to have principalities. I'm going to have things present. And, and guess what? I have a breaking point also. But guess what? I have a Christ. He said he would never leave me or forsake me. See, when 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 God is 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 is, is the most is, is most present is when you're going through something. But we're so involved in what I'm going through that I see. See, the the uh, the, 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 the sign we have in several places in the church. We got to learn how to dance in the rain. See, right now, right now, it's been so hot here lately in California. Woo, I'm waiting for it to rain. I'm waiting for it to rain and then it'll rain for a while. And guess what? I'll be wanting the sun to come out again. See, we just cannot be satisfied. We cannot be because we always want. It says a workman. <laughs> you have to study to show yourself approved. And then God gave me another thing. He gave me the thing like when when I was a when I was a little boy, I had uh, these two forty five uh, guns and I could swirl them and twist them and put them in the holster. I had two holsters, had holsters with two, two holsters. And, uh, and, and, and I learned how to spin them and do all kind of things with them. And God gave me this. He says a, a preacher is like a gunslinger. You have to be ready at all times. But if you watched a movie of a cowboy movie, you'll see the ones who were gunslingers. They 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 knew everything about their weapon and they cleaned it and they took care of it. And and that's the same thing we're supposed to be with the word of God. We're supposed to take care of it. And, 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 and we're not supposed to just 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 any way deal with it. No, we're supposed to study. We're supposed to study because we want that one true gospel. We don't we don't we don't want to put a spin on it. We don't want to add nothing to it. Sometimes, sometimes. You have to give a bitter pill. You have to tell people, no, that's not right. No, that will not happen here. See? Well, I'm the, I'm the biggest tithe pair you got. And, and, just like God sent you here, he'll send somebody else. He'll send somebody else. You, you cannot hold up God's word. You cannot take God's word hostage and think God going to say, okay, he's not. But we have to say no further. We can't bend and then say, God, help me. No, we have to say this far and no further because God didn't leave you. in church. When God writes a letter to the church in Revelation, he said to the angel of the church, he didn't say to the highest tithe payer. He didn't say to the deacon board. He didn't say to the trustees. He says to the angel of the church, because that's who he's going to hold responsibility. And he tells him what to do. And if you don't do it, what he'll do? And he only talking to one person. He only left one person in charge. He only left one person in charge. But we're not in charge, charge, because we're under shepherds. And there is only one shepherd. 
There is only one shepherd. There is only one head of the church, the one who went to the cross and rose on that third day with all power, and he ain't sharing it with nobody. He's the one who sat on the right side of the Father. He's the one, nobody else. He's the one. He's the one that everybody in heaven bow down to him. The only other person they bow down to is God. They bow down because he's the one who came all the way from glory to save God's greatest creation, us, mankind. Mankind came all the way. And, 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 and that's why God is not going to let this pandemic win. No, he said nothing seen or unseen can win because guess what? Everything was made by Jesus. The creator is not going to let the creation outdo him. Never, never going to happen. It's never going. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have some losses because finally, finally, people are beginning to believe we're at war. With this election coming up, we're at war. I'm talking about church. I listened to uh, some preachers this morning talking about the, the extreme left. Say, we got to make sure that the, uh, uh, they don't win. I say, my, my, my. My, my, my. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And, 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 and they're going to have some followers. They're going to have some followers. But see, I'll tell anybody. It says, study to show yourself approved. Unto God. And what did he say? Is that what he said? Uh, Y'all turn to 2 Timothy 1, 1, 15 and see if that's what he says. And if that's what it says, that's what it means. My pastor said, what did it say, Brother English? I said, blah, blah, blah. He said, that's what it means. It ain't going to change for me. It ain't going to change for nobody. He says, he says uh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word, we cannot be ashamed. And, 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 and know this, know this, the word has layers. Uh, 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 another thing that, uh, that the, the Holy Ghost gave me is that uh, uh, light. There's, a, there's light, there's more light, and then there's much light. When you're born again, you have light. See, you're not, walk, you're not stumbling around in the dark, more. you have light. And as you begin to walk this thing and study, you get some you get some more light. But all of us don't get all of us are not all of us not going to be Paul. See, Paul had much light. And you know what they said about Paul? They say you study so much, you're going crazy. Oh, Lord, I want to go crazy. I want to go crazy because the more you know. The easiest walk is the more, you know, the because you see it, the more light you have, less chance of slipping and falling. Less holes you got to fall in. And when things come upon you, you got a word. When things come upon you, uh, uh, go back over here to Romans. Go back over here to Romans in that eighth chapter and go to verse 28. And I'm going to misread it. And then I'll read it. Then you can read it like you want to. It says, and I know that all things work together. That's not what it says, is it? It say we know. No, no. You got to put I know in there. I. Because we ain't going to help you. We ain't going to help you. Because this walk is all about you. You got to know. You got to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. That, 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 that no matter what happened, God got me. God got me. The devil cannot win. The God got Yeah, he can win a skirmish. He can win a skirmish. He can he can he can take this dirt suit, but he can't touch me. And that's another thing, too, the 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 the, the, the devil will talk to you, I'll share a story with you. Uh, and, and it just goes to show you how 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 people can say different things and it can bother you. Uh, when I was 16 years old, I started having migraine headaches and they were terrible. And then my dad told me, he says, oh, boy, you're just going through the change. You're just going through the change. You'll be all right. And then I, I, I guess I uh, was too old to be crying, and, and he told, this is what he told me. He says, men don't have headaches. Whoa. And I looked in the mirror. I looked like a boy child, but I had a headache. And I tried to convince myself that I didn't, but I had a headache, and it was ugly, and it was horrible. To go on to show you the power that the devil has. I was in the Air Force, 19 or 20 years old, and I had the worst headache for three days that I probably ever had. 
and I looked around the base to find something to cut my head off with. I just knew if I cut my head off, this headache would go away. And I finally found what could do it. And I was laying in my bunk one day, and I was all curled up with this migraine headache, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get over to that area where this machine, I don't even know if it was a machine, I can't even tell you what it is, God took it away from me, but I could get there and get my head cut off. And I was laying in the bed trying to figure it out, and this is what I heard. You know if you cut your head off, you're going to die. I said, what? I did not know. The, see, the devil is good. He just had me focus on cutting my head off. Now I'm 19, 20 years old. So I should have known that if I cut my head off, I would die. Well, I didn't know it. And then I chuckled to myself. Now I've had a lot of bad headaches, but I've never wanted to cut my head off. I've never wanted to cut my head off again. See, we all are going to go through something. Some more extreme than others. But know this. Who? Hey, nobody can separate us from the love of God. I don't care what you're going through. Get it in your spirit. I know that all things work together for good. To them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. And all you got to do is open up the door. He said, I stand at the door and knock. If anybody open up the door, I'll come in and suck with them. See, 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 my God is a God of love. He's long suffering and he's merciful. I, I, I didn't want to have surgery one day and a, a doctor was telling me that, uh, you know, this is the only way out. You're going to have to have surgery. And so he finally, I guess he got mad at me. And this is what he said. I can take the pain as long as you can. I had to think on that a while. <laughs> and I chuckled to myself. I did have the surgery. A lot of times, the things that we're most fearful of, God got you. God got you. Get it in your spirit. God got you. And know this. The devil came at Jesus after 40 days and 40 nights of no food, fasting, and he came, and he came at him. But he, the stuff he came at him with is stuff Jesus could do. So the same thing with you. He coming at you with things that you can do. You, all you got to do is, is get a word. Like I, like I have uh, John, that's my, that, that's my scripture. I, another thing I told, I told members, I wanted them to memorize 2 Chronicles 7, 14, but I said, get your own scripture so in a time of need, you can come up with your scripture. Well, mine is John 14, 1. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let not. See, I'm in control. You're in control. Let not your heart be troubled. That's a, that's a, that's a scripture we give a lot of times at funerals because people are going through, and, 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 and see, it's a, if, if, if I break my finger, if I, I break my arm, that's why mental illness is so, is, 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 is so tough. See, because, see, uh, I can't go right, I, you can't doctor right on it. You can't doctor right on it. So if you, if you see something that's broke or something that's cut, or, you, or you're bruised, you, you, see, you can go right to it. But see, uh, that, that, say, Lord, help me. See? My pastor said he, uh, he uh, lost his scripture. The uh, uh, pastor told him to preach. He was so nervous and, and stuff, and he, he, he had his notes and all the stuff run out. He got up there. He couldn't find his notes, and he couldn't find his scripture. And this is what he said. Jesus wept. And that's all he said over and over, that Jesus wept. And this is what his pastor told me. That's the best sermon I ever heard. That's the best sermon I ever heard. And it's true. The shortest scripture, Jesus wept. Now, we, could, we can preach on that because why would God himself weep? You could preach on that. See, 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 we weep because, see, we're a weaker vessel. We're a weaker vessel and things knock us out. Things knock us out. That's why I say study to show yourself approved because, see, 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 I, I didn't write it down, but uh, 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 
Friction caused traction. Nobody don't want to deal with that. Friction caused traction. Father said, God says that we're coming up on the rough side of the mountain. And we say, well, Lord, why can't we do the other side? Well, try going up the smooth side. Fraction, I mean, uh, 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 fraction makes trick, track, I mean, traction makes, fraction makes traction. See, we got to have something to, 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 to hold on to. On the rough side of that mountain, there's a place to put your hand, place to put your feet. It's hard, but it's doable. This thing we're going through now, it's hard, but it's doable. Because there, 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 there's an out. There's, see, just like, just like on that, 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 when that rainbow come out, when that rain will come out, it, we've had some, we'll have some, some, some tough rains and, and, and all of a sudden you'll walk outside and that rainbow will be there. God telling you everything's all right. The same thing when we, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark in this tunnel. But as we keep walking, it's going to begin to lighten up. It's going to begin to lighten up. And, 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 and I'm believing, I'm believing. I was talking to uh, one of the deacons and his wife last night. I'm believing that this pandemic is going to give us a greater appreciation for the church. Going to give us a greater appreciation for the church because a lot of times we 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 laid in bed and said, uh, I, 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 I'll go next Sunday. Well, now next Sunday ain't coming. He's not coming. And like a lot of times people will say, 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 oh, God. And God will say, oh, God, right back at you. Oh, I wish I could go. No, you didn't. Because when you could, you didn't. When you could, you didn't. Now you can't, and you see, see. If we go, one day we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to show up and and explain why we lie so much. My father told me there's no reason for a grown person to lie, and I totally agree. Cause what can you do to an adult? See, a child has a reason to lie, because there might be something coming. See, there might be some punishment coming, so he he'll lie in a minute. But once you get to be an adult, why are you lying? Can't nobody do nothing to you. Can't nobody do nothing to really. Can't nobody do nothing to you. Really, can't nobody do nothing to you. He says, uh, "For do I now? Do I now persuade men? Our preachers, our goal is to bring about a change, because we're living in a sinful world. We're living in a sinful place. We're." Uh, uh, People will, will walk over people for a dollar. Will walk over people for a promotion. Will walk over people uh, 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 for the boss to like them. To turn, 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 turn on their, in, turn on somebody in a minute. Lie on somebody in a minute. We're in a terrible time. But we're also in the best of times. Because we can see God's work. We can see. Uh, like I tell people, you say, yeah, well, you know, uh, I, bro, he, he, he faking because I remember when he was in the world. Yeah, good, good. I'm glad you do. Then you can see a change or not. But if you be truthful, you'll see a change. One of them, you wouldn't talk to me the way you're talking to me. That's one of the things you wouldn't do. See, so you know there's a change. See, when man changed, like, 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 like Peter, cut that man's ear off. Peter, Peter wasn't scared to fight or die. But when the Lord told him, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. See, you got to depend on somebody else. It's hard for a man to depend on somebody else. It's hard for a man to depend on somebody else. Because if it was easy, anybody can do it. That's why it's hard. That's why God put things in our work to, 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 to make some friction. So, so without that friction, we have no traction. We got, you, see, see, it say iron sharpen iron. Right there in the family, right there in the family. See, see, Cain and Abel, there was an opportunity for a great thing to happen. But jealousy and envy got involved in that thing. And then right after that envy thing come hatred. And anybody that you hate, you will kill. You will kill. See, in, 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 in families, it's, 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 it's so much jockeying for positions. It's so much jockeying for positions. But if you get some good parents and everybody know that their position is secured. See, if I'm the baby, I can't be the oldest. And guess what? The oldest can't be the baby. See? But see, a lot of times the people in those roles want to switch. 
But see, if they switch, then they would want to be back where they were because they would find out. See, my wife baby me sometimes and I like it, but then sometimes it makes me mad. It may, see, you can't have, but if she didn't do it, I'd be, why, why isn't she doing it? See? See? Why isn't she spoiling me? See? And see, men get so used to, to things happening. Get so used, and, and, and once you start doing it, it's hard not to do it. Baby, uh, where my plate? The food's on the stove. Well, you always got my plate. And I'm not, I'm, and, and, and I'm not eating unless, I, unless you get up and get it. See? Spoil, but then I don't want to be spoiled. Say, where are you going? Well, why are you, why are you, why? I'm a grown man. Well, why can't you go in there and make your plate then? See, see, it, it's this thing. And see, it's a, it's a, it's a study to show yourself approved. We gonna need some word in the time that's at hand. We gonna need some word because you see, the, see, it is so much pressure on us. So many things that are out of my control. But I'm so glad that I, a long time ago I found out who was really, really in charge. So you've got to find out who's really, really in charge. And then you've got to do a hard thing. I said, well, you know what, uh, 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 God, I'll let you handle the brakes. But I got the steering wheel and the speed. I'm, I'm going to step on the gas and I'm going to do the turning. But you can step on the brakes. No, you've got to give the whole thing over. It's either all or nothing. All or nothing. God don't need you cooking in the pot when he's cooking. He don't need, he don't need your help. He just knows what's best for you because he can look far down the road. He can look into eternity, and I can't look into the next minute. Because every one of us is one step from death. The only reason I'm still here right now is because God said so. Not because uh, uh, the alarm clock went off this morning. We don't, me and my wife, we don't have alarm clocks, but if we did have an alarm clock, it wouldn't be because the alarm clock went off. Because a whole bunch of people, alarm clock is ringing right now. And they're not going to wake up. They're not going to wake up. He, say, he, say, he, says, he says, and I, we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the call according to his purpose. According to his purpose. In 38, it says, for I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, not things present, nor things to come. You have to. I can't do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. In 39, it said, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature. The devil can't do nothing to me. The devil angels can't do nothing to me unless God say, okay. He cannot do anything unless he get permission. He is the prince of the air. That means there's somebody over him. And he was thrown out of heaven. So that means somebody over him. And in that, in, and doing that, doing before the thousand year reign, they say a strong angel. It didn't say an angel, a principality angel. It didn't say, it said a strong angel. Come and, come, come and, 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 and chain him up and throw him in the pit. See, see, so, so remember that. God, God, God don't need our help, but he loves our prayers. He loves our prayers. And he loves the fact that we know that, I, oh Lord, I've done all I can, and I'm putting it in your hands. And I ain't going to come. I'm going to try, Lord, not to come back every few minutes and, and see how it's going. But as I do this walk, I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to say, thank you, Jesus, and, and go on by my business. Thank you, Jesus, and going by, because make no mistake about it. Tribulation is tough. Distress is tough. Nakedness is destitute. That's tough. Anybody, if you do not put on the whole armor of God, you set up for failure. See, that's why you got to get some word in you. See, and, 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 and it you won't slow you down. It won't slow you down to, 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 to the older you get, you just can't jump about the bed no more. See? You may have to sit on the side of the bed for a minute and then stand up. See? See? Everything changes. Everything changes. What I could do yesterday, I can't do today. Okay? I, can't, I, I, I can try it. And before I finish, I want to say this because it, 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 it came to me this morning or yesterday. Uh, 
When you're sick, I don't care if it's physical or mental, and you have a good day. Oh, Lord, you, you, you just wake up and you just feel good. Uh, there's, there, 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 there's no troubles. There's no nothing. And this is what you say. Oh, I'm going to do something that I haven't been doing. I'm going I'm to I'm uh, fix up around here. I'm going to do No, that should be treated as the first day of the week. That should be treated as Sunday, the first day of the week. And that day, all you do is give God praise for what he's done. And then if he gives you another good day or a better day than you had that day. Now, that's Monday. See, Monday's a work day. Go, 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 go and do what you was going to do. But do it in piecemeal. Don't try to do everything like, 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 like I'm going to die tomorrow. No. No. Trust in God. Give God the praise and just enjoy yourself. I know I asked my wife when she was going to retire. I said, what you going to do when you retire? She said, I don't know. I said, well, you can't retire. You know what you're going to do because, see, I have my own schedule. And I don't want nobody messing with it. So then uh, 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 some, some time passed, and she came again. She said, well, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm going to retire. I said, what you going to do? She said, nothing. I said, that's, 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 a, that's a good plan. That's a good plan, see? See, nothing requires, see? That's, see, you got to know what you're going to do. You got to know what, you, you know, know what you're going to do. He said, he said, for I'm persuaded. See, we need to be persuaded that even during this pandemic, even though I've lost my job, even though that uh, 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 somebody close to me have died, see, even though that my money is not like it used to be, see, all these things are temporal. All these things are temporal. If my friend or loved one died and I told him about Christ, we're going to see each other again. We're going to see each other again. If I told them and they accept it, we're going to see each other again. So don't worry about that. And it'll be a short time. It'll be a short time. Nobody on this side that's living will be away from their loved one for eight hours on God's side. See, so, so don't worry about that. You'll tell a person 20 years from now, you know, uh, uh, you know, it was 20 years ago that uh, the last time I saw you and the person on the other side in heaven, you say, uh, I just saw you 30 minutes ago. See, that's the kind of God that we serve. See, God is not in time. We're in time. On the other side, on the other side, a thousand years is a day. And a day is a thousand years. See, so don't, don't, don't worry. For do I now please, I mean, do I now persuade men or God? God is unpersuadable. Your job is to tell somebody about Jesus. And you've got to study to show yourself approved so you can do that one true gospel. Not, 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 not with no additives, just, just like it was written. Just like it's us all God wants is just like he gave it. He don't need our help. Those disciples, they don't need our help. They had the Holy Ghost. They don't need the man help. And it's just with us. We got to pray more. I know uh, 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 several people called me to pray, and, and uh, I should have written it down. I didn't. But let's just pray right now. Father, I want to thank you. One of my brothers called the other day, and he says, uh, pray for his sister and her baby. The baby was born a week ago with a liver disease, and the baby is still in the hospital, and, and the mother is she's frantic. So we lift the mother to you, Father. Uh, her name was, thank you, Jesus. Na Nancy is her name. So, Father, we lift Nancy to you, Father. Ask that you touch her and that you go to the hospital and, and fix the baby and fix that liver and, and let the baby be able to come home and, and, and enjoy a life. And we're going to give you all the praise. Uh, a friend of mine, his, uh, his aunt, who was actually his mother, that's who raised him because his parents was was not able to raise him because of a drug addiction. And she passed away, and he asked for prayer. So we lift Brother Stans to you, Father. We ask that you touch him as only you can, and we're going to give you all the praise. And we just thank you. Father, we lift all the, the young people who are, who are doing their lessons on a computer. Father, we, 
we ask that you not, not let the time be as long and, and that they come up with, a, with some kind of thing that we can take and then we can go back to the way we were, going in and out and, and pretty much doing what we want to do, Lord. But let us know who did it. Let us know that it was you, not man. It was you that gave us the knowledge to come up with something. And Father, we're going to just praise you. When we open up the doors again, we're going we gonna to shout like we haven't shouted before. We're going to sing like we haven't sang before. And Father, I'm praying that every pew be filled. Every pew be filled and people have a hunger to know what you say. Have a hunger, Lord, to know what you have to say. Have a hunger, Lord, to know and come ready to pray and believing that when they pray that their prayer would be answered. And Father, we just thank you. We thank Bishop, Bishop Jones and Bishop Griffin. Father, we ask you to continue with them, Lord, and, and, and they both have, have, have ailments. Father, we ask that you touch their bodies from the crown of their head to the, to the toes of their feet because they're over a, a lot of ministers. And, and Father, we need them to continue on to give us things that only they can give us, Lord. And we ask you continue. We thank you for how you've dealt with Mother Griffin. We ask that you continue. And sister, her daughter, Diane, who takes care of her mostly, Father, we ask for extra portion for her. She celebrated a birthday here, Father, so we just thank you, Lord. And we also lift her daughter to you, who's, who's going through some things, Father, and then her two granddaughters. And Father, we just ask for help and mercy in that area. And we thank you in advance because we know that you've already began a work. And we're just so happy for you, Father. We ask you to continue. We lift Sister Harris to you. Ask you to touch her as only you can and lift my little sister Paula to you, Father. We just ask you to continue with us. And I didn't say anything, but I, I wish to uh, lift my brother, Pastor Tidman, to you and his wife, Gerald, Father. We lift them to you there in San Diego. And Father, we ask that you do a marvelous job. And we just lift Tricia to you too, Father. We thank you for her, Lord, and her family. And we just lift her to you, Father, that you fix her as only you can. And we thank you. Lift my wife to you, ask you to continue to be merciful with her and with this asthma and the things that she's going through. She has a lot to do, Father, taking care of me. That's a handful right there, Father. So we ask you to give her an extra portion. Father, give her my portion, Lord. I think I can do without it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Pastor H. Lee English Sr. and the One Lord Memorial Church family, truly want to thank you for joining us for our worship service today. We pray that you enjoyed that powerful word, Workman, the one true gospel, and will take time to meditate on it daily during your Bible study and prayer time this week. During the coming days, revisit our Facebook page to watch the sermon again and again, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to join us on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. for Bible study, as we continue our study of St. John 20, and on Friday for noonday prayer, as we continue to pray for this nation, and the unprecedented times that we are currently facing. Join us again next Sunday morning for worship online, at 11 a.m., as we will celebrate another day that the Lord has made, and, honor His sacrifice, with First Sunday Communion. The OLMC family extends a virtual hug, to everyone watching. Next week, please invite a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, or a family member to enjoy the service with you. I see you in the future, and you look much better than you look right now. Please do your part. Don't forget to practice social distancing, wear a face covering, wash your hands frequently, and refrain from touching your face as we continue to fight the spread of the coronavirus in our communities. Also don't forget to complete your voter registration. If you don't vote, don't complain. Until we meet again, have a blessed Sunday, and a blessed week.